actually I started to feel that I'm a different so-called boy at, at that time uh, was when I was a kid, you know. Uh, I was always um, correct by my mom, by my brother, uncle, aunties and so on, you know, in, in whatever I do, uh, the way I talk, the way I walk. My name is Nisha and I'm in my early 30s. I'm from Malacca. I was born there. I started to transform myself when I was from four, from five. Before the eighties, sex change was allowed. It was done here in Malaysia, okay. And uh, after the fatwa came out, you know, uh, they banned the sex change or SRS. We call it a sex reassignment surgery. I was caught by the religious officers, you know, for so-called cross-dressing, which I'm not cross-dressing, okay. I'm not a cross-dresser. I'm a transsexual. So um, I was put under the Sharia court and I was sentenced to two, two months in prison in Kajang. So uh, because of that incident, when I came out, I started to get involved with nightlife. I was working in a pub, I was working in a club. Coming from all that, I wanted to change my life and I, did, I didn't know how. So I was trying to contact, going to the internet, looking for any NGOs or whatever that, that, that can help me. And I found Dr. T. Dr. T from internet, and she was the one that introduced me to PT Foundation. As a program manager, I'm 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 just not uh, into development of the of the community of my of the transgender, but also uh, into advocating the issues of the transgender in the in the society, and also when it comes to religious bodies and so on. We welcome regardless of color, race, or whatever. You know, if they are transgender, they can come into our center. Uh, we, we we provide them breakfast. We uh, we have placed them. I mean, we have a place for them to sleep, rest, you know, wash their clothes, and all all um, everyday life thing. Because uh, there are some transgender out there who are homeless, you know. Sadly to say, here in Malaysia, when you talk about job options for transgender, it's very limited, very very limited. Again, uh, even though a transgender person is qualified based on their uh, qualification, okay. Um, they are still judged based on their appearance. So yeah, I, I would really love to have kids one day. Maybe not not my own kid, but you know, I can I can adopt a kid.